Hello everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and today we are going to do a Tales from the Truck slash I guess Tales from the Tiny House really because <laughs> I'm inside today uh, for Mosaic Monday. I'm going to release the names of the winners of our giveaway that we had running until the 15th of December and so we're going to roll into that first and I'm going to do a little what I've been working on type things, show you guys some projects, something that's up and coming. I'm going to talk about that as well. And then last part of the video is for those of you who like the tiny house, homestead type stuff. And we do a little tour of the chicken area, chicken coop area that I've been working on. And I go over some things that I've been doing around the homestead that have been keeping me busy, which is why I haven't done any tutorials. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to jump in to the winners of the giveaway now though so we can get that out of the way if you are one of the winners i just need you to email me tell me your screen name here on youtube or send a screenshot of your profile on youtube and i'll have my email address down below in the description if you're a three chart set winner just include the three charts in your email to me that you want and i will send those off to you if you are the grand prize 10 chart set winner you just need to tell me which 10 charts you want in your email and just make sure you put in there which person you are so that I can check you guys off on the list. And we're going to jump into that part of the video right now. Congratulations to everyone who won, and you're going to send me an email. Like I said, I'll have that down in the description. So now we're going to roll into the portion where we're going to talk about some projects I've been working on. So if you're not interested, if you are only here for the winter part, bye, and I will see you guys next time. And for those of you who want to stick around, we're going to go over things that I've actually made. <laughs> so first up, we have hats that I've worked on, and that is these three beauties right here. So these are just different hats I've worked on. I have shown these in the beginning of some of the videos, like the tutorials for the patterns. So um, I will link all of the tutorials down below if you are interested in making a hat. I take you through working flatter in the round in my videos. So I've given the information on how to make these hats on the appropriate videos. Um, the first one I'm going to show is this one right here. I did all slouchy hats, and I've not made up my mind yet as to whether I am going to be putting a pom-pom on, but I'm leaving it open. I might, I might not, and I did wear this hat in one of the other videos. The color's showing up a little bit better in my new lighting that I just got in, so hopefully you guys can see it really well so that is the first hat and then i worked on this one as well and you can see another little slouchy hat and that is the design for this one and then this one this one is actually my favorite out of all of them that i made and keep in mind if you've been with me for a long time you already know this, but if you're new, I am not normally a hat maker. I can't design a hat. I can't make a hat that fits any one human being's head. <laughs> like if I'm going for a kid's size hat, I end up with something that is either way too small or way too big. If I'm making an adult size hat, it's like super big usually is what ends up happening or it will be too small. So I am very proud of this one. I really love this pattern out of all the ones that I released in 2021 this year this one is my favorite so i am just in love with this and you're going to see this design pop up again 
<laughs> in just a moment. But now I want to show you guys, I'm going to move over a little bit and here on screen, I'm going to pop in a picture of my very uncooperative model. <laughs> she did not want to take a picture. This is Butterfly Alley. These are actually my samples from the two different videos that I released for that chart set. And out of those samples, I made this cute little poncho. So it's just two repeats wide, two repeats tall. I made a little shoulder section to kind of fit and have the other panel attached in the back. So I have a panel on the front, panel on the back, and then a little strip on each side to connect them. And then I just crocheted in the round loosely, doing a double crochet to make that kind of cowl necked or turtleneck looking collar for it. I think it turned out so cute. Because I used those panels and I was doing this little poncho style thing for her, I didn't have to do anything with the tails. And it's something you could upsize if you like the look of it. You could do an adult size or for any kid, you know, from little to your teenagers, you know, just as just another way to do a poncho that's very simple, but you can use mosaic designs to do it. So now I want to show you guys something that I've been working on. I did a community post about this uh, to let you guys know um, that I'm working on my first written pattern and it's going to definitely be fully written out instruction. So this would be a traditional pattern, which I've never done before. And I am going to work on it and release it in 2022. I don't know when yet because I'm only like 47 rows in. But I have been trying to figure this out and how to do a mosaic triangle shawl for so long. And I finally had an aha moment doing something completely different. Was working on something else. I think I was doing translations into Spanish or subtitles on the video, but it just popped in my head. And finally, having that aha moment was the moment that I needed because I have been able to make this. <laughs> I am so over the moon excited to show my progress on this one. I have done a couple things in the written portion of the pattern. I am not a person who will pull back 10 rows, you know, when I see a problem. I know some of you will, and, you know, that is your thing, but I am not like that. So on this one, I have this kind of weird looking pattern here, and I have done something where we're going to be bringing in some double crochets. So it keeps more with the pattern and how it should look. And I'm hoping it'll make it look more like this that I have going on down here in the pattern or further up here where it just looks more finished. So I've written that correction in to the instructions, but mine is going to have that flaw in it. And I don't care because <laughs> I am so happy with this. Like, Obviously not done. I am still working on it. I mean, I guess you could call it done and sew it together and make it like one of them little bandana type, you know, uh, scarves or whatever. But I'm going to make it a full on triangle shawl and I am going to wear this thing probably like this will probably be what you see in all my videos <laughs> where I'm talking because I will probably not take this thing off. I am, I just love it. I'm so excited. You can't see enough of the next pattern to see what is going on there, but I think it looks good. And hopefully you guys are excited about it too. Um, I'm going to keep making it even if nobody wants to make it <laughs> because I love it. And I'm probably going to design several of these this year now that I've figured out how to do it. So you can easily turn this into a poncho as well. You can make two identical triangles when it's done, you know, um, and then sew them together up at the top and you would have a cute little poncho like that, longer, obviously. You get the drift. So this one is all I'm working on right now. I should be doing my translations on the videos 
for the subtitles. Those take me about an hour per video. And there's over 50 of them, maybe even over 60 of them now that are completely done. I've made it all the way through every video that was released in 2021. And I'm into some of the ones that were released in 2020. So I have actively been working on it. So I know some of you guys that are in other countries, you're starting to see that you have the option for subtitles in your language. I'm going to keep working on that. It's just going to take a lot of time because I think I have over 200 videos. <laughs> and I'm two, I'm two years into this channel before I figured out how to do the subtitles without buying software or paying someone to do them. And then another thing that I've been working on, which I need to send an update email to my new friend. I have a friend that is helping me with subtitles. Uh, subtitles, not subtitles, on translations <laughs> on my patterns. So I translated the patterns into Spanish, um, the chart set, so that someone can download the Spanish version or the English version when they purchase the patterns now, the charts, you know, on the Etsy store. So I have put that to the back burner. <laughs> I'm supposed to be working on more of those right now, but once I had that aha moment, I actually started another one, which I showed in my um, post. I started a pink one, pink and gray, really simple designs. I just wanted to see if I could create the shape and, and do it, and then once I realized that I was on the right track finally, I stopped that one like, you know, 30 rows in and started this one. <laughs> and I've been working on this. Every chance that I get this to crochet, this is what I've been working on. So I'm sorry there's no new tutorials. There will be. There will be. I have other designs to release. I'm just working on this. Now we have family in town. So, you know, I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> Usually, it's a weekly video here. So, I know. I keep holding this up. I'm just so proud of it. So, <laughs> I can't stop showing you guys. But, this is the last thing that I worked on. And, this is the only thing I'm going to work on until I get it finished. That way, the written pattern, I can send it off, get it tested, and get this a tutorial for this. There will be a tutorial it's going to be very long. It'll probably have to go to multiple parts, but don't worry. This will not just be a paid for thing. I will be doing a tutorial for this type of shawl here on the channel. It'll be this one because I'll be done with it. <laughs> and I will turn around and film it for you guys. So that is it for the items that I've worked on. If that is all you wanted to see, then bye for now and if you want to stick around and see some of the tiny house stuff the chickens some projects i'm working on i do have a lot of projects going on here that i'm having to work on my husband is working a lot of hours um they're short staff just like everybody is everywhere so he is pretty tired on the weekends and he's not getting home until very very late at night so I'm doing the best I can to keep up with everything. <laughs> so please bear with me. Please stick around. I will have new content coming in January. I promise. Something before the end of December too. Possibly if I get some time this week. I do want to put out some more tutorials for 2021. Just gotta have time to film them. <laughs> um, now we're off to look at chickens and that sort of thing. In this portion of the video, we're going to go over different projects that I have done. Here's is number one. This is all recent. This is why I'm not putting out any content. <laughs> um, that is a porch. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it is a porch. And that's me. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I ordered a new selfie stick <laughs> it's coming in soon <laughs> and um i began raking um as you can see i have a lot more to go 
Um, and that's only one part of the property that you can see from where I'm at right now. So I'm going to be raking for the rest of my life. <laughs> um, we are waiting on a part for our mower. National back orders are super fun. <laughs> so we're waiting on that. But for those of you who are like, you don't really live in the woods. Yes. Yes, I do. That's more my raking back there as proof I did rake. I was raking paths for safety because I have a lot of rattlesnakes and stuff like that. And there's top of my head. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's just what you guys can see. That is my secondary grill. It's going to go on the porch. I just have it moved so I have room to work. Now well, we're starting to go into the woods woods for real reels. It's really in the woods. So let's keep walking. And this is on down the trail. Try to hold the camera so y'all can see. And we can go for quite a bit. I'm not gonna go any further because I'm by myself and I don't have any weapons with me. This thing will start flipping around if I do it. I was gonna show you the deer tracks, but there's deer tracks. It's like a little animal highway, I guess is the <laughs> way to think of it. It's a little animal highway. Oops. And let's see. And there's the train again. <laughs> it's constant. It's crazy. You know what's crazy about that to me? <laughs> so I really did order a new selfie stick, I promise. I'm currently walking uphill. <laughs> so if you hear me struggling for my life, that's what it is. It's very hilly. I'm from Florida, so it's flat in Florida. This is way different up here. And then up here, more woods, more woods. Still more woods. And we're starting to get to the chicken coop. So I still have more cleanup to do. And I've been raking up here. Good morning, Beyonce. Hello. Hello. And that's Beyonce. She's not super social at all. I hear you, Ray Ray. I hear you, Ray Ray. Hey, Ray Ray. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm gonna let you out. Good morning. Good morning. This is where they have their covered run. I'm gonna be building another covered run over here on the other side. We have to keep them separated right now is the issue. Um, she is his mama, but at a certain point, she started hating his guts and trying to kill him. So, um, we got to move them and keep them separate. That's why there's two separate coops. And Beyonce knows what's up. Hello, girl. Good morning. All right. So, I'm going to see if she'll stand here. Look how pretty her feathers are in the front. You're so pretty, Beyonce. I saved some of my cheeseburger from last night. <laughs> uh, come on, girlfriend. She usually stays closer. She's probably wondering what the heck this thing is in my hand. Oops. You gonna get the rest of it? Here's some more. And then their favorite thing. Tuna. I smell like fish every single morning now. It's awful. I do not recommend. <laughs> so that's what it looks like when they're both out. She's on this side. He's on this side. <laughs> and they can't cross through. Now when he gets bigger, and sometimes I doubt he's even a he. Even though he kind of looks like a rooster to me. And I was told he was a rooster, but he hasn't crowed yet. Um, they can go through this door. And it will connect 
the two coop areas. And she's eating. I should have waited because I need to get into her coop area to see about eggs. So we're going to try to do that now. And I'm not seeing an egg. But I have to be careful because she's an egg hider. Um, hmm. She was hiding them underneath there for a minute. Hmm. I'm going to investigate closer. You guys can look at my dying moms. They were dying when I got them. Just in my defense. They were $1 a piece. So I have to bring them back to life. And I've pulled the hay out and there isn't anything. That's pretty much it. I just want you guys to know. Just in case you ever get a wild hair and you decide you're going to build something by yourself. Hanging that sheet of plywood was like almost impossible <laughs> by myself. I had a toolbox on the other end and then I was on one end and I lifted it onto the toolbox and I get down to the other end and then I screwed it in best I could. And then still holding onto it so it doesn't fall, I come down to the other end, try to screw that in. And it sounds like that wouldn't take that long, but it really took me like an hour to coordinate, to move everything I needed to help like stabilize stuff and to set it up to actually do it. And there was very, there was a few failed temps. I mean, <laughs> like where it fell and everything. It's just way harder than what you would think. If you made it to this part of the video, you are going to get a chance to enter to win 20 chart sets. There will be only one winner this time. So make sure that you include the number two in your comment down below and that will enter you into this secret giveaway. I don't want you to mention that there is a giveaway. This is just for those who have watched down to the end. So if you comment below and include the number two in your comments, then you are agreeing to all those rules, regulations, guidelines, stipulations, everything that is in the official rules listed in the description box of this video. So only one winner this time. So good luck to everyone who made it to this part of the video. I hope you leave a comment down below to enter to win. And we will run this giveaway until January 7th, 2022. And then I will be releasing the name of the grand prize winner the second week of January. So January 8th or later. <laughs> Again, just at least give me five days to get that video out announcing the winner. Thank you guys, as always, for taking the time to watch my video. Really do appreciate you. And I hope that everyone is having a wonderful, happy holiday season if you celebrate. And until next time, bye for now.